physical gold is the only independent, scarce, and enduring financial asset. It's the only financial asset that is tangible, and it's the only tangible asset that is financial asset. I'm Simon Mikhailovich. I'm the managing partner of the Bullion Reserve, which is a vehicle for managing private bullion reserves of institutional and high net worth investors uh, outside the financial system. The purpose of gold, basically, it's an independent liquidity reserve. It is something that can be uh, negotiated in exchange for either currency or goods or barter. The misconception is that it's something obsolete and irrelevant. Cash flow is not the only measure of intrinsic value. When liquidity dries up, independent liquidity has the highest value at that point because A, it enables somebody to meet their obligations where other people cannot meet their obligations and thus survive through the trough of the crisis. And B, it enables such individuals to potentially deploy this liquidity and invest it in deeply depreciated assets that are depreciated precisely because other people do not have liquidity and are now forced to sell in order to raise money. So if you, for example, step away and say, well, what happens when cash flows stop coming? What happens when the valuation methodologies that are applied to valuing cash flows are suddenly applied to all of financial assets? That's called correlation goes to one, which means everything, the price of everything goes down. What happened to subprime mortgages? Subprime mortgages were valued based on present value of future cash flows. There was an assumption as to the future cash flows. And when that is one assumption proved to have been incorrect, the entire complex collapsed. So having an asset that is not reliant on those assumptions, but on some other measures of value, is a primary source of diversification in these circumstances. What we're worried about is a disruption within the realm of uh, realistic possibilities. And the important thing with gold in this sense is electronic disruption uh, can cause permanent damage to digital assets because not only the uh, trading and the um, relationships are all conducted digitally, but the assets, the shares, uh, the bonds, they're digital as well. They're digital records. Gold inherently itself is not digital. So you may have interrupted access for a short period of time, but the asset itself does not get impaired. So for that, meaning for the complete disruption, people should have uh, some gold on hand. That would be in the forms, let's say, of coins or small bars, just for that level of emergency.